During a nighttime camping trip, a family had a memorable evening around a bonfire. The video shows a father and daughter dancing and having fun. When the mother later reviewed the video footage, she spotted this. A strange, ghostly figure seemed to be reaching out towards the daughter. The family's pet dog was the first to spot this eerie figure, and even the child saw it at that time. The family believes they might have captured a demon on camera. A Facebook user was on a camping trip when he came across a stone monument and decided to snap some photos. It was only later that he realized what he had actually captured. A figure seems to be standing on the edge of the rock, looking towards the cameraman. When you zoom in on the image, the figure appears almost ghost-like, with a pale face and long hair. Nearby there's a cemetery which leads some people to speculate that this might be the spirit of someone lying there. What started as a routine hike in a South African mountain forest quickly turned into a terrifying adventure for this hiker. I think we have found a perfect place to place the trail camera. So this trail running along here is literally the only entrance and exit for this entire valley. And you can see it's very narrow, so it's very easy to funnel the animals in one spot. You know exactly where they'll be walking. It's very... He planned to set up his trail camera to capture some interesting wildlife footage. As he explored deeper into the dense forest, he found the perfect spot. Uh, so maybe a tree. I reckon this tree could maybe work. Although that's going to be very obvious. But as he was setting up the camera, he heard this. The tree line. So it's better hidden. This could perhaps work. I have no idea what that was. Realizing that something was not right, he quickly packed up his gear and decided to leave. Freddy Flintoff, a guest on Discovery UK's Alone in the Wild series, is an experienced camper with a lot of knowledge and skills. One night, while he was trying to sleep in his tent, things took a frightening turn. As he was settling down for the night, Freddy began hearing unusual noises coming from outside his tent. The camera goes out of focus just as the creature walks into the frame. Later, it was revealed that the creature was a lion. After a long day of exploring, this camper settled into his van, hoping to find some peace and quiet. But then, this happened. At 2.30 a.m., he was jolted awake by faint footsteps outside his van. Someone was trying to open his van door. 
Suddenly, a loud crash broke the silence. When he looked outside, he saw that his front window was smashed, a clear sign that someone had tried to break into his van. Now, it's time for you to smash that subscribe button. These two young boys were exploring the woods and looking for an adventure, but stumbled upon something truly unexpected. There's a naked man moving in a very odd way near a fire. His movements seem ritualistic, especially when he lifts an animal skull above his head. At some point, the man notices the boys and their eyes meet. Scared out of their minds, the boys quickly run away. Three friends enjoying their campfire are taken aback when they spot this unusual thing. Dang. That was amazing. What a day. Dude, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh no, I'm actually dead serious. Look at that. What is that? Dude. What in the world? What is that? UFO. Wait, should I get the... Can you see it on the live? Filming. How do I video Wait, that? Wait, what the heck? Dude. They're dropping oh. chemtrails. Dude, you could see it. You could see on the on the on the camera. Are you filming? What is that? Dude. Guys, come look at this. What in the world? Look at it. It shows super well. Keep going, Cal. What is that? Dude. What is that? No. Is it coming towards us? That's creepy. We're here on the Mexican border, hunting deer, and we have spotted a UFO. A strange object moving through the sky. Is this a UFO sighting, or could it just be a satellite? This camera took some photos of this picturesque waterfall in Colorado. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary at that time, but when he reviewed the photos later, he was shocked by what he saw. In one of the photos, a large, brown furred creature appears standing on a hill by the water. He carefully checked all the photos taken at that same spot, but none showed this mysterious brown furred figure. This led them to question if this could be a sighting of Bigfoot. On the evening of August 26, 2024, Dan Lee, the YouTuber behind Cursed Urban, heads out for a night in a forest. Guys, welcome to tonight's video. As you've probably seen from the title, I go camping. I go camping in a forest that's about an hour and a half north from where I live. The reports about this forest have been crazy. All types of activity there. All types of cryptids spotted there. But there was something even more terrifying waiting for me in that forest than any of that. Um, tonight's episode is terrifying and it's an experience I certainly don't want to relive. He arrives at the forest known for its eerie history and bizarre rituals. After setting up his camp and lighting a fire, Dan ventures into the dark woods. Alright, we are back and I hate to, I hate to be this guy, dude. I, I almost don't even didn't even want to say it, but while the camera was off, of course, of course, I know I could hear it in the comments. I heard some some sort of weird, like, sound coming from that way. It sounded like I don't know what it sounded like. It's it's nothing I've ever heard before. Something really weird, like a like like a chattering sound almost. But there's no animal that I know of that makes that sound. All right, we got spirit talk around. Let's see if we get some, uh, see if we get anything. Yeah, okay. It seems like, just, just brief Google search, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. It seems like it, the original number, uh, the number of the beast was, was 616. And then it changed to 666. I don't know if it's true. Um, through like the, the translations or what, but so we just got 616 on Spirit Talk. Are we 616? There's that heron again, dude. Doesn't that sound creepy though? 
like just being by myself out here and I hear that that heron dude doesn't that sound creepy like would you be creeped out if you're like just out here at night and you hear that I hear gunshots I, that's, dude that's gunshots I hear gunshots coming from over there That's never good. He continues his exploration, determined to uncover the forest's secrets. Um, there's been... Oh. Oh. That scared me. That scared me. That, that scared me, dude. There's some hikers on a trail adjacent to mine, and... Oh, dude, my heart is... Back at camp, Dan hopes for a quiet night. But as he drifts off to sleep, someone, or something, shines a flashlight on his tent. All right, guys, I'm going to try and get some rest. And uh, I don't know if I'll be successful or not, but I'll certainly try. So good night. See you in a couple hours. <sighs> Dan doesn't notice until he's already startled awake by the roar of motorcycles racing through the forest. What was that? Shut up. Dude, these people don't stop. They're just racing up and down this road. Fully awake now, Dan tries to communicate with any spirits using a spirit box. As he listens in silence, he hears something outside. Hello? Hello? I don't know what that was. I think it was just an animal, but... Peeking out, he sees nothing. But the feeling of being watched grows stronger. Alright, um, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go review the footage real quick. That... I took while I was sleeping. Um, I'm going to review it just on the camera real quick and see if there's anything, if there's anything odd that I happened to capture. Dan reviews the footage he recorded while sleeping and realizes someone or something was near his tent. Terrified, he quickly packs up and leaves the forest, vowing never to return. Take a look at this eerie video. What the f is that? I seen its ear flick. Oh, it looks, oh my it's god. Oh. It's just legs and perked its ears up. Wait, where is it? Oh, I see it. Do it again, Kenna. Do it again.
The person who posted the video says that this creature was alive and that its ears were flickering in reaction to the sounds being made. Because the clip is so unclear, it's hard to tell exactly what we're looking at. The uploader first thought it might be a mountain lion, but after watching it several times, they're convinced it's something different. Recently, this photo taken by a trail camera was shared on Reddit. Although the image is a bit blurry, it caught something downright terrifying. The photo, taken in Washington State around 5 a.m., shows a human figure. After enhancing the photo, the details become clear and a woman can be seen. The person who posted the photo noted that the woman's clothing seemed unusual for that early hour and the forest setting. Washington's forests have a spooky reputation, with some people believing they are haunted. A man was camping deep in the jungle when he came across this. It's hard to say what this camera captured as there is not much background information known, but it's most likely the man stumbled upon an indigenous tribe living in the jungle. Thomas, the face behind the YouTube channel Thomas Ominous Danger, is known for his outdoors content. In this video, he's heading into a forest with his loyal dog Archie. What was supposed to be a simple camping trip takes a surprising turn. As they walk through the forest looking for the perfect place to set up camp, Archie starts acting strangely. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get some food going, some smidge spray on, and then I'll see how I feel. Just doesn't feel right. Let's get some food on. Just my mind playing tricks on me. Archie? Archie? Normally calm and close to Thomas, Archie becomes restless, darting around and sniffing the air with intensity. Thomas notices this unusual behavior and begins to feel uneasy. It seems like Archie might be sensing something that Thomas can't see. His dog's tail, he keeps looking over there. His tail. It's just completely dropped. He keeps looking in that direction. As Thomas tries to get everything ready for dinner, his unease grows. Archie's tail is dropped, and he's staring intently at a particular spot in the forest, clearly disturbed. Thomas eventually decides it's best to leave. Something's fucky. Something's fucky. Part of my language. The first time I've ever sworn on this channel. Does that prove that something feels genuinely off? We're out here, man. I was again feel that overwhelming urge to get the hell out and just go, which is exactly what I'm doing. I can't wait to look back at this footage and determine whether, like, my fears were justified. If it was just like my mind clearly playing tricks on me, that Archie was actually super calm and that it was nothing. But man, that didn't feel like nothing. Right now, it doesn't feel like you've already noticed my voice has gone quieter. Bad vibes, man. Bad vibes. I don't feel the slightest bit of regret. I feel that I made the right choice. What the fuck was that? Just as they're about to drive away, an eerie howl echoes from deep within the forest. It's unlike anything Thomas has ever heard. Was it a wild animal or something more sinister? On July 25, 2024, 
a group of people stumbled upon this. A strange creature lying in the middle of a forest road. At first, some people thought it might be a dog or a cat. However, it's clearly bigger than a cat, and its arms are too long for any dog. Additionally, its elbows bend inward in a way that is not typical for dogs. When you zoom in, it almost seems like the creature has a human-like shape, resembling a strange mix between a human and a dog. This adventurer went on a solo camping trip deep in a forest they had been to before. They were used to camping alone and enjoyed the peace of nature, but that night, they heard creepy howls coming from the woods, which made them feel uneasy. The strange cries kept going throughout the night, and each one seemed to be closer than the last, making it hard for him to sleep. When morning came, the adventurer finally found out what was making the noises. It wasn't a wild boar or any other scary animal. Instead, it was a surprisingly cute animal called a water deer. Despite the eerie sounds, it was absolutely harmless. This terrifying footage was captured at a camping playground in England during the night. On top of the slide, there's a strange creature that's ghostly white with eyes that glow in a weird way. When it notices the camera, it quickly jumps into the shadows and disappears. Many people who have watched this video think the creature might be the rake. Is the creature in the footage really a rake? Or could there be another explanation for this? These adventurers discovered a mysterious cave while hiking in the forest. Oh, it's warm down here. Nice. All right, I'm sending the bag down. I heard it. That's far. Curious about their find, they decided to explore and record their adventure. They carefully set up their ropes and began their descent into the cave. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. Dude, this looks crazy Whoa. though. Oh, it gets even cooler over here. As they went deeper, they were amazed by what they experienced. Even though some parts of the cave were tight and difficult to navigate, the unique shapes and textures of the cave made the effort worthwhile. They uncovered stunning features, including crystal formations and secret chambers. A man was staying in his Airbnb in the middle of a deep forest when he noticed something peculiar. The footage begins with a simple view of some greenery, but after a few seconds, it becomes clear that something unusual is hiding among the plants. When the creature notices it's been seen, it quickly darts away. The camera holder rushes over to where the creature was, but it's nowhere to be found. The YouTuber Dan Lee goes back to the famous Wendigo Woods for another adventure after many people asked him to. Throughout the night, unsettling noises and odd sounds can be heard. He tries to talk to any spirits that might be around. What was that? That was... That was... That was something. Throw. Throw. Oh, what was that? Is anyone, is anyone back there? Warm. Warm. 
when he finally decides to go to bed, he gets jolted awake by something terrifying. I just woke up to the sound of branches and sticks and something being broken all around my car. I can hear it coming from inside the woods. It's, it's constant. It feels like something is like circling my car. He heard sticks breaking and something large walking through the forest. To make things even more mysterious, he finds this on his car. That is definitely from the outside and that is not me. That is not my handprint. A small handprint can be seen on the car window. As he explores the area further, the eerie noises and possible sightings make him feel increasingly uneasy. Feeling uncomfortable, he decides to pack up and leave the forest behind for good. This is called a bleeding tree. This strange event happens in different parts of the world when a tree, when cut into, releases a red liquid that looks like blood. In some cultures, these trees are thought to be signs of bad luck or spiritual warnings. In traditional Australian medicine, bloodwood sap is used because it has antiseptic qualities that help treat wounds and infections. This video was meant to be just another regular exploration by Mo Sarji, but things took a dramatic turn. Because there are... <gasps> what the fuck is that? <gasps> oh, what is that? Hello? Oh, what the f***? Yo, I don't, I don't mean any trouble, bro. Yo, there's a guy with a f machete. There's a guy with shit. What is he saying? Okay, I gotta jump out. I gotta, I gotta find a way out of here. Oh my god, there's a guy with a f machete. There's a guy with a f machete and he's coming after me. Yo, man, I don't mean you any harm, bro. I'm just making a video. Oh, no. Please, yo, dude, why do you... Bro. Don't... Bro, I got a rock. I don't f*** with me. I got a rock. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Guys, the f*** I go? Shit, there's a guy with a f***ing machete coming. <gasps> Shit, why is he so f***ing mad? I'm not doing anything. This isn't his place. <laughs> Bro, I don't need any f***ing... Shit, shit, shit. Yo, shit, shit. Yo, dude, chill. Dude, chill. Oh, oh. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, Dude! Yo, yo, jump in! Yo, jump in! Oh, oh, oh. Yo, bro, chill. Chill, chill. Chill, chill. I'm not trying to hurt you, man. Man, what the hell's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'm not doing anything. Man, man, you come to my house. Why would you do this? This is an abandoned resort. It's not your fing house. Bro, screw off. Dude, I'll give you money. Chill. I'm not in the money. Let me off. Then fuck off then. Seriously. Fuck off. Pull. I don't give a fuck about no police. Bro, you got the machete. You're the one that's going to jail. Dude, this guy's on crack. Bro, this guy. Hey, chill, bro. You gotta lay off the drugs, man. Bro. Dude, lay off the drugs. Bro, I'll hook you up with whatever you want. 
Dude, just, just drop, drop the machete and fight me like no, a man, man if you want to fight. <laughs> drop the machete and fight me like a man. Bro, you ain't gonna cut shit off. Bro, this guy wants to cut my f***ing hair. During the expiration, Mo encounters a homeless man who appears to be under the influence of drugs. When Mo tries to talk to him, the man responds in nonsensical phrases and starts swinging a machete. In one part of the footage, you can even see the man holding the weapon and using a substance. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. 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 Just when Mo thinks he's escaped the danger, the man suddenly shows up right next to his car. Hey, 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 dude, just chill, 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 chill. Stop, 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 stop. Please stop, man. I don't want to run you over. I'll run you over if I have to. This guy. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Despite the terrifying encounter, Mo managed to get away safely. Now, You've shared with me before that Mo Sarge is known for creating fake videos. So is this another one, or is this real? A group of men were walking through a dark forest at night, checking out reports of strange happenings in the area. Here. As they move deeper into the forest, they all start feeling like someone, or something, is following them. Oh shit, I see toys. It's in there. What the fuck is that, bruv? It's fucked. I don't it's know. Off, it? Mate, I see toys and then it popped. Oh. When they sense this eerie presence, they decide to investigate, but find something that makes them even more uneasy. So, I've seen it basically, I've seen it through that gap there, yeah. yeah. I've seen it through that gap, but it's, it's always were like down here, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was and a fuck minute, no, it's always went from like this level up to about here, and no, then it ran off, innit? So, we just had a first little encounter. First little encounter. I think it was, couldn't actually see what it was, but it looked like it could have been a deer. But, I mean, we shined all our torches on it, couldn't see shit. Realizing the situation could get more dangerous, they chose to wrap up their video and leave. A group of campers goes on a weekend adventure in a quiet, remote forest. As they explore deeper into the woods, they notice something strange. Despite feeling scared, they keep filming, hoping to catch a glimpse of this mysterious creature. This next footage was caught by a camper who claims to have found a sleeping Sasquatch. The person filming says they plan to collect a hair sample from it. But it's hard to believe that a creature like Bigfoot would be so calm that someone could get close enough to take a hair sample. This person was searching for a nice camping spot in Hawaii when he stumbled upon this. A huge, mysterious footprint was found at a place called Kualoa Ranch. The footprint has three distinct claws, which some people think looks like the footprints of the famous movie monster Godzilla. Some believe it could be the real deal, while skeptics argue that the footprint might just be a leftover prop from the 1998 Godzilla movie. Now let's watch this one. 